Well, here we are again. So, if you've been subscribed to my channel or following me for a while, you know that I'm a bit of a sewer, not a great one, which is why we're here today. Um, but I haven't been sewing in a long time because I have been living in New York. I was there for six months. I'm home almost a month now. Um, you'll see all those New York vlogs on my channel. But I am back in Ireland now and I'm just figuring things out, um, what the next steps are gonna look like for me. But that's what today's video is gonna be, kind of. A uh, bit of a life update. And uh, unsew with me. Um, I've done a couple of sew with me type videos before, from what I remember, uh, and I can't remember if I did them for either of these dresses, but these dresses are soon to be no more because today I'm going to be unpicking two, well definitely one, I'll maybe just cut apart the other one, but I am taking apart dresses that I made that uh, I don't like because I don't like to waste fabric but I'm also definitely not gonna wear these for different reasons. So I'll get into that, and then as I'm taking them apart, I will take apart my life. How about that? So the first one, which I'm probably just gonna cut apart, is this one, which I'm obsessed with this fabric, and I did it as kind of a nap dress type, easy, shared on top, shared little straps, long dress. Uh, I cut the fabric completely wrong, completely wrong, and I didn't have enough fabric and I did the sharing completely wrong uh, with actual elastic. So it is more compressive than a medium to high support sports bra. Um, so it is not comfortable and it's not really that flattering either. Who's bothering me? Unnecessary. So yeah, I have photos of me in this on Instagram. I'm not necessarily gonna take this part today until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it instead because I am gonna use this fabric because I don't like to waste fabric. Um, I'm actually, there's some pieces here, making a scrap quilt. This was in my Everything I Made in 2021, I think, video, which I will link in the cards. You'll see the dress I'm wearing, I think, in that video is made from this. And I'm getting lots of little squares for my scrap quilt, uh, which will be its own video. I have lots of sewing projects coming up so this one which you've seen on instagram and then i don't know if i ever posted a photo of this on instagram i ordered it i can't remember where i got it from and they sent me the wrong size so it was like the 14 to 22 or 24 it was that size bracket and i needed like a 10 12 for this uh, so i made the 14 and i tried to size it down and it didn't work that said it's obviously quite big because i do make some dresses in 14s like 12, 14, but the 14 was way too big. Um, and it's got a big full skirt. I had to use a fork to try and help me pleat the skirt. And the fabric is pretty nice, but one day I just put it on and I was like, oh my God, this dress is so ugly. And I know that's terrible, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do, Oh, I thought the straps came off. Basically, I'm going to take apart this dress and I have loads of extra fabric of this as well, but I'm going to take it apart and then in another video, um, I'm gonna make a skirt, a cute little puffy skirt and potentially a top to match and have a little matching set out of this that I can wear as separates. I think it's gonna be a much better decision because this is just too bulky. And I actually tried to add some little ruching. You can see, I don't know if you can see, that is the armpit. There's the front. You can see I kind of added a little bit of ruching here, you know, my baby ballerina days coming back, um, and it still did not make it any more flattering. The skirt, the waist is just too chunky. So I'm gonna unpick this. Um, suddenly my battery is deciding to die on me, so that's great. I'm just gonna keep going while I can. So these straps are going to be um, the little ties for the skirt that I'm planning on making. Like there'll be like a little tie at the front which is great. Um, I could just cut this apart, but I feel like it's a more responsible thing to unpick. Am I right in saying that? I don't know. Um, first, do you know what? I'm gonna take off the skirt first. So we'll just get into the little life update as I start to do this. Basically, I'm back in Ireland right now. I was hoping I would have something lined up in New York by the time I came back here, 
but I don't but that's just how things go um, I already have my fingers and toes and everything crossed for a couple of opportunities at the minute um, because I would really like to end up back in New York but I am you know open to opportunities in most places really um, so I'm just kind of on my job application game right now and um, while I'm waiting for you know the things that I really hope will come through to come through um it's sad and I miss my friends um we were all there I'm here um I'm from if you know you don't know me hi I'm Anna May um I'm from a medium to large town in the west of Ireland so but it's just not it's not the vibe so um yeah just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do but in the meantime just gonna try and see some friends that live throughout Europe and I just ripped a hole in my fabric um and do all of that while I'm this side of the Atlantic so um I'm also just trying to so use up my fabric stash I've kind of decided I'm not gonna buy any more fabric I was eyeing up a couple couple meters now of fabric but I decided that I'm actually just going to work through my stash and work on the scrap quilt because that would be the more environmentally friendly thing to do so just working on the pieces that I already have and taking apart things that I don't want and you know using scrap fabric I can find and doing that I have a really exciting video coming up soon I'm still figuring out exactly what pattern I'm going to use but I have a vintage sheet that I'm going to be making a dress out of I'm so excited I think I'm going to do use the same pattern that I made this dress out of that like you know but you know if you see my what I made in 2021 you'll see me wearing it uh, it's a really simple dress pattern but I think I'm going to make some changes to the neckline and make it a little lower cut because I just prefer that on me so yeah for right now we're hanging out in Ireland we're going to um I think what I know now is that things so my camera just died but the skirt is almost off this thing that was no, it's not. There's just actually such, oh my God, there's so much fabric. Um, yeah, from what I've learned, uh, things can change really, really quickly. So I think knowing that and kind of being prepared to jump when I need to jump is a big thing um, because that's what happened back in October. Um, I think I've logged some of that um, and if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Anime by Design, you should definitely follow me over on there because I do a lot of like sewing updates and just like general stuff I'm doing updates. Um, it's, uh, I left within probably three weeks of hearing about um, the internship I ended up going for, um, which I decided when I was in New York, I wasn't really gonna talk about it. I was interning at the UN again. Um, it was a different role um, and it was a really amazing opportunity, the office that it came up for and um, it, yeah, it was the best. It was a really fantastic opportunity um, and I really wish I could have stayed, you know? So now the skirt's gone. Yeehaw, look at all of that fabric. That is way too much fabric. I'm not even 5'3". How am I supposed to wear all that? Um, so yeah, so right now, you know, how many times can I just say, we're figuring it out? But I am, you know? Um, my mom's best friend, slash my best friend's mom, same person, becoming an Irish citizen today. So that's really fun. And we're gonna have cake for her later. Um, I'm taking this apart, updating you on everything and um, cutting some scraps for my scrap quilt. I've been working on a lot of needlepoint stuff because if you have been here before you know that I have a needlepoint shop like a, a paint and sell canvas like a design and sell canvas um but I hadn't been designing when I was away um even though I really wanted to and I have kind of like I do have some like a list a big list of like stuff I want to do but I just wasn't putting the time into it um for a couple different reasons and then I have some stock here that I think I'm gonna list on Etsy and see if 
I can get a move on some of that because I love doing it. I love designing it. I like painting and all of that process. Um, shipping orders. It's just difficult because pretty much all of my customers are in the US. And I think I've had like maybe one customer who wasn't. So just with uh, customs and stuff, it gets confusing. Um, but I think I'm going to do that in the next week or so and just at least sell what I have and see what we do from there. Um, but other than that, just a lot of sewing projects happening and hopefully some travel in the next couple of weeks, really. I just need to start looking at flights and see if there's any deals for anywhere. Um, so this is almost... Oh, I forgot I put pockets in this. The effort that I put into this. Um, but yeah, so subscribe to my channel. Um, you'll see what happens from here. Um, you will also see all the stuff I'm making and you'll see episode two of this. Um, where, what did I do to this skirt? Oh my God. Um, you'll see the second life that this fabric gets. And then third, because it'll be a skirt, top, and then it'll also go into a scrap quilt. So, woohoo. I really hope I get a job soon. <laughs>